Sim Leads, it's Delicracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Dying Out Part 7! And I'm really, really pumped because I haven't recorded for like a week because I was in Sydney recording some special videos for you guys uh, with The Sim Supply. We're actually going to be playing some Minecraft, which I've never played before. It's been requested a lot, so we thought we'd do it. And that's why there's been a lack of videos. But oh gosh, I've never been happy to see Mr. Wu. Hello, Mr. Wu! I love you. Uh, but anyway, to the last part, we're trying to figure out what to call this place because clearly uh, Stephanie has renovated Dick Monalds and made it look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we've gone for a change of the menu. It's only three stars at the moment because we are having um, a little bit of trouble. Oh my gosh, lady, please leave. Please just, oh. I know why you're upset. You're upset because you have that ridiculous hairdo. So go either just take it off or put a wig on or something because it's just not take it all off or put a wig on you got to make up your mind <laughs> oh my lord um, okay manage jack okay so we've we've paid for training uh, we should probably give them a promotion to keep them happy um she's good we're not gonna demote her because we love her Michaela how are you it's been so long I don't think we should increase you either whoopsies uh, and then, oh my gosh, my washing machine in the background is going absolutely crazy. Gosh, a promotion for me? For me? Yes, for you. Okay, so I totally forgot what I was talking about. But anyways, let's change the name of this place. Wait, how do we change it? Oh, just build mode, I guess. For some reason, I thought we changed it. Uh, from from the restaurant menu, but I was thinking, okay, so we had some great names. There were like over 2000 comments in the last part of this video, which was amazing. And I read, I'm not even lying. I read every single comment. I didn't comment, comment on many comments because I was just like going through them all. And I was like, there is no time to respond right now. I've got to read them all. And I have to give a few shout outs. I really liked the name Roadside from City. That was kind of cool and rustic um, because it used to be a drive through. So I thought that was pretty cool. The Olive Branch was probably the most popular name. Heaps of you guys wanted the Olive Branch as a name and commented on both the Let's Play and the build of this place. A uh, shout out to Jack Powell who said the wood box. I thought the wood box was so cool. Uh, and then Natario from Olivia Beck. I thought that was so cool. I don't know what Natario means. Oh my gosh, my washing machine sounds like I am in a, I am in a spaceship and I'm about to, to like take off. Oh my gosh. Uh, the Grid was a really cool name. Lime Bistro from Olivia Thomas. That was pretty cool. Uh, Treetop Cafe. I loved that. And The Harvest Kitchen by Pixel1408. So I was thinking either The Wood Box or The Harvest Kitchen. But I was thinking because we have a few things in the outside patio that you can harvest. I think The Harvest is really cool. Maybe not even The Harvest Kitchen. Maybe just The Harvest. Or Harvest Kitchen. Harvest Kitchen? The Harvest. I don't know. So thank you so much for your ideas. Uh, Pixel1408. Love it. Harvest Kitchen. Nice. I don't know if that really exists. I would love to know though. Let's just double check that it has registered. Yay! Harvest Kitchen. You look beautiful. Alright. Mr. Wu's going to give Michaela some, um, some training, which is good. What happened to the tree that was here? Oh, it's still there. <laughs> okay, all good. Um, you know why she's probably sad because her meal's taking so freaking long to come? Well, I can't speed up your meal, I'm sorry, but maybe we should get the perk um, for patient customers if we're able to. Pat patient patrons, let's get that. Uh, and of course, this will apply to all of our restaurants. But I'm thinking the grid, the name the grid has inspired me for a build. Natario, I think we should change one of the other restaurant chains into a really high class, fancy restaurant called Natario. Uh, Lime Kitchen's going to inspire a build. And then I thought I could build a treetop restaurant. That would be awesome. So thank you for inspiring me with all of your excellent ideas. And let's hire a professional gardener whilst we're here. Oh, you're liking our prices. Good stuff. Why were you just eating a burger? And excuse me, Laurel. 
No, that was very naughty. We need to give you some brief training, though. Um, gardeners united. Your gardener will arrive on Monday. Well, thank you. So they can take care of our trees. So we don't have to worry about that. Can you do your job as well? So we're going to pay for training. Will she pick up her things now? Okay, good. That's all she wanted. Right. She's like, I'm just going to dump all of these dishes here until he pays for some proper training. Well, good way to make your point, I guess. All right. So let's just, you know what? Let's just check on this lady's table. Let's welcome her. Let's make her feel really loved. And also there was a comment on the last video. There was a couple of comments, actually. One person was like, I'm really frustrated because I just think Mr. Wu would not be with a trans woman. And also this is in terms of Stephanie, the lady we're interested in. She is transgender. Um, and Shiaka Fergus said, I don't think Mr. Wu knows Stephanie is trans. And that's right. He doesn't know that she is transgender yet. And I think we need to definitely address that. And she's going to have to tell him because reality is he, um, as he gets to know her more, he's going to find out more about her history and stuff. So I was thinking we could get him and her to catch up. And I feel like Mr. Wu being this businessman who's always been very like probably very traditional in his point of view. He's not the nicest man either, probably not the most accepting guy. So I think it would actually be really difficult for Stephanie to tell him. And I feel like in the first instance, he would probably be like, wow, no, no, he wouldn't go for that. But then, you know, maybe he'll be open-minded about it. So we'll see how we go. Uh, all right. How are we, how many hours have we been open for? Seven. I reckon let's disallow new customers from this first wait station um, and greet. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me, Deli. How rude. Ugh, these clown ladies, I swear. I am just not going to be happy about them. All right, let's go check on all the tables, make sure everybody's happy during the meals. We've got patient customers now, so that's pretty good. And yeah, I think, I think once all of our staff have leveled up a little bit more, like we really need to get Rocky his skill levels up. But I think once they're skilled up, uh, this is going to be a very successful restaurant. Yeah, I think so. Michaela's really, really, a really, really good waitress. So that's good. And Jessica's just the best host ever. So I think everything is doing well. Uh, just check in to make sure you're getting the service you need. You know what, Marcus Fletch? You are loving this restaurant. I flare. I, I flare. I swear you were always here. All right, let's, let's stop new customers from... Wait, have we shut both? Yeah, we've shut both. Why do new customers keep coming, though, when we've clearly shut our shop? We've disallowed you guys to come, yet you still keep coming. It's probably because they love this house. Uh-oh. He's not happy. Just from being a hot-headed person. I don't like having our restaurants open for more than eight hours because our staff begin to get unhappy and we cannot afford to have one of our top chefs or waiters uh, quit because that is really bad. So, you know what? We're going to lose some money, but I'm just going to close the place. Uh, we lost $435. Times are tough, but it's going to get better. All right, let's go home. Let's go home and see the kitties. So Stephanie, we should probably invite her over, but it's getting a bit late now. So we might see her in the morning and have a bit of a business meeting, flirt a little bit, followed by a serious conversation because they can't really woohoo or do anything probably without him realizing. Alrighty, so back at home, we are actually ready to move house because if you guys have been paying attention to my channel recently, you would have noticed I built a new LP house. So I'll link that in the description down below. I'll pop a link on the screen or something, but um, these guys are gonna move. And you know, it's 8.45 at night. We may as well move now, I think, um, because I built a house that, I don't know, I like this house, but for some reason, it just didn't feel right for them. I don't know, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I don't know what it is. So I also felt like Mr. Wu would live in a more, 
mm, less dynamic house, a little bit more perhaps traditional in a sense. So I've gone for kind of a Californian mansion. That's the aesthetic I've gone with. So let's move the household. Okay, so we are going to be moving the family into this Californian home, which I think of it. I don't know. I think that it's going to just suit them a lot better. I think Mr. Wu would have something slightly more traditional and less edgy than their current house. Uh, although I kind of liked the idea of their current house seeming ultra modern and cold in a way, but I don't know. I, I was just over it. So if you guys want to see the speed build for the old house or the new house, they're both on my channel and I will link them in the description down below. But this is a new house. And if we just quickly go into buy mode, I'm going to show you guys it in all its glory in the full daylight. So here we go. My aim was to make it kind of Californian inspired. I am not from California. I'm not very familiar with California. So if you guys are from there and you're like, or if you've been there and you're like, it's not really. Uh, sorry about that. But that's what I was aiming for. It was inspired by Cameron Diaz's house in the holiday. And also, what was the other one that I was inspired by? Hmm. Oh, and also a little bit inspired by um, In the Parent Trap. Uh, the American Twins house. Yeah. But anyway, it's really nice. It's got a nice big pool. It's got this outdoor eating area. Uh, we've got a little bit of room if we want to put in a monkey bar or some play equipment, which we might do. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of symmetrical in the first instance with the overhead covered pool over there. And if we go inside, I'll turn off the grid for you guys because I know how much you dislike that. <laughs> uh, we have, and I'll pop the walls up for now, a nice little entrance area with a big wine glass picture here because I felt like um, a family that owns restaurants should probably have a nod to that. And I also feel like Stephanie would have helped find the house for them. She would have been like, oh, there's this amazing house. It's just beautiful. It'd be perfect for you guys. They have a lovely big kitchen here with a um, breakfast dining area. Nice lounge room here. Everything's very neutral. Maybe Stephanie did the interior design for Mr. Wu. But I love these big windows and these curtains that kind of give the illusion that they would come across fully. Got a piano, bathroom. Uh, and then if we go up the stairwell, they've already got their bedrooms all set up. So Mr. Wu's in the master bedroom here. It's got all guy stuff because it's just him at this time of being. And he's got, you know, a big TV, lots of red, red symbolizing the power of color might give a nod to his Chinese heritage as well. Um, and then we also have over here, um, this bedroom is kind of like, I guess it's messy. So I like, well, it is messy and I love that because it's just, I don't know. It just, for Ali, it's perfect because I feel like she'd be a bit messy now and then. And she's got her own bathroom too, with lots of posters and stuff. It's not too girly either. Cause she, that's just not her personality. And then over here, this room is child's bedroom. It's very bright. It's very pink, very feminine. And then over here is Clay's room. So it's got a lot of blue and black. He's got this amazing computer set up here. Cause he's probably into gaming and whatnot. He probably isn't that outdoorsy so that's all set up for him and Ali gets a nice little outdoor area here for when she starts making more friends which I think is nice and Mr. Wu has an outdoor balcony too so that's pretty much the new house I'm excited about it but I think what we might do is give Antonia's room a little bit of a spruce up using the new kids stuff pack because hello I've just been dying to use it <laughs> okay so I've just added a few of the new stuff pack items from the new kids room stuff pack to little Antonia's room here. So we've got the new bookshelf and the new wardrobe and a few new toys around the place and one of the new beds because I love the new beds. Uh, and I've also added a couple of things as well to Clay's room. So he's got like a void poster on the wall, the robot decal, which looks sick and like a little robot over here because he's probably into gaming and stuff. And in terms of Ali's room, we've just got, um, oh, wow, she's already in her bed. That's so cute. Oh, and little Antonia is probably too scared to sleep in her own new bedroom. So she's going to sleep with her sister. Oh, adorable. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. And Clay, have you found your bedroom? Yeah, he has. So I'm just going to claim that bed for him anyways. Uh, so he's claimed it. And we'll get him to sleep there. And then Mr. Wu will also claim his bed here and sleep there. So that's all good. 
let's put those walls down now that you guys are familiar with the house. Uh, it's 1029. Actually, he's in a pretty good mood. Let's just see if Stephanie's still awake. I mean, it's worth a try. She might want to come over. I don't know. But I do feel like Stephanie probably did the interior decorating in this house. And Mr. Wu was like, I just, I don't want any frills or anything. I just want nice and simple and neutral, nice for the kids. So she would have just done a really nice, beautiful job. And she's going to come over. So that's pretty cool. Let's get them a little bit romantic. But I also want Mr. Wu to have a serious discussion with Stephanie uh, regarding her, the fact that she did transition. And although she is very much a woman, uh, he does need to know her background story because I think that's just fair for him to know. And let's just set that as a front door just in case there was any confusion there. Um, oh, you know what we do need in here? A bar. I feel like Mr. Wu, let's just give her a heartfelt compliment. Mr. Wu does drink a lot and he eats a lot of bad food. So I reckon he would have got the be rid of the beautiful piano in replacement for a bar. And Stephanie was probably like, you really don't need a bar. You don't, you just have kids here, you know, you drink a lot. Maybe I won't put a bar in the house, but he's like, no, I want a bar. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it's fine, like, to have a bar in a house with kids, obviously. But I would say Mr. Wu has a, a slight drinking problem, maybe. I feel like that would be in his characters. I think that would suit his character. Uh, maybe we should... Hmm. I don't like how that cuts into the bar like that. We'll just... I might just move it out a little bit like that, but then it's not in line with the wall. Oh my lordy lord. And um, maybe we can just put like that there. No, let's just leave it plain. We'll leave it plain. I like that this house is a little bit plain, Jane. Oh God, is furious. He's not in a good mood to, f to be told new stuff probably. Don't throw a drink. Let's just get to know you and we'll make a drink for them down here at his new bar. And Stephanie will be like, I didn't put that in there. <laughs> uh, make a drink for Stephanie and then you can make your favorite drink. So, aw. They are a really nice looking couple together. I have to say that. Aww. She's so pretty. I love Stephanie. All right, so let's go make a drink for Stephanie. But yeah, I mean, as I was just saying, I feel like Mr. Wu does live a very unhealthy life. He's a very good businessman, but he's not a very healthy sim. He drinks a lot. He eats a lot of bad food. He doesn't exercise. And he just works all the time. He probably spends a lot of time in front of a computer looking at statistics and writing business emails. So, you know... That's just him. All right, making his lady a drink. He's ready to get a little bit more intimate with Stephanie. Now the kids are in bed, I'd say. I do like that lamp. It's a nice lamp. Okay, back to it. Mr. Wu, making a drink for Stephanie. Uh, is she going to come down and have it, though? Oh, yeah, she is. Cool. And then they can have a little bit of a chat. Mm. We'll just let her pick which one she wants. Let's drink and then we can chat. So maybe he could start hitting on her a little bit. I mean, it is past midnight. Maybe do a little bit of a pickup line. So you like rocket ships? <laughs> and then maybe... Maybe he should confess an attraction and just be like, Stephanie, I think you're a very beautiful woman and I would like to see more of you beyond just being a business partner or beyond business. She's like, oh my gosh, really? Well, there's something I do need to be 
open with you about. And yeah, <laughs> it's probably a really difficult thing to tell someone, I guess, that you really like being fearful that they might not accept you um, for who you are. I mean, that's the scariest thing for anyone, just being vulnerable, I guess. Like, do you like spots? Uh, all right, so I reckon let's have a serious conversation. Uh, a deep conversation whereby Stephanie will tell Mr. Wu her history of transitioning from male to female. However, she is a woman. I think he'll need to just, you know, let the information settle. So we'll just say goodbye. Oh, ask just to be friends. That would be devastating. Oh, she's she's so classy. She knows when to leave. She's like, I'll let him, I'll let him settle. <laughs> like, let's just let him think this through if this is something he really wants to do. Such class act, Stephanie. Let's just get Mr. Wu to drink more. Can have his favorite drink again, but I feel like he would definitely stay up late. And, uh, this would be him dealing with what he's just found out. There we go. How are the kids going, actually? It's four in the morning. Have they done their homework? Probably not. Do homework. Saturday. Oh, it's the weekend, so they have time to do homework and make friends, so that's good. Um, all right, let's get you to drink up, Mr. Wu. All right, guys, well, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon.